Welcome to today's Farm Life on the grounds of Dakota Fest 2021 here with Scott Vanderwall, the uh, South Dakota Farm Bureau President and the American Farm Bureau Vice President. Uh, that's, a, that's a mouthful right there. Um, talking about uh, taxes, every time there's a new administration, Scott, there always seems to be, this is better, this is better. What have you heard? What, what's going on? Well, we've been told that there would be a possible attack on uh, not only stepped up basis, but also an, an effort to increase capital gains taxes. And we would uh, oppose both of those very vehemently based on our policy. But it's, it's because of what happens to farm and ranch families and business owners, frankly, in, uh, in uh, passing on their operations to their heirs. Uh, if we take away that stepped up basis, uh, that, that's very damaging to farmers and ranchers' uh, families. And, and capital gains uh, taxes going up uh, just takes money out of your pockets when you're trying to run a business. Now, is, is there something that you're going to try to get as a permanent fix, or are we going to try to do like a five-year fix and maybe work at it over the after that? We've been working on permanent fixes for quite a while and, and haven't got it done yet. Uh, right now, we're kind of playing defense and just keeping keeping uh, the provisions out of the bills that would eliminate those, or, or in, in the case of capital gains taxes, uh, increase them. We want to keep it the way it is for right now, and then we'll work on uh, making them permanent later at this point. Okay, now, and, and I don't know why that is. Every time there's a new administration, they always come up with something different. I mean, if we all settle on this and it's all good, why do we keep trying to change it? <laughs> well, there's different political agendas every time. You know, we, uh, when we switch administrations like we have this time, uh, it's a completely different philosophy. More regulatory uh, uh, with the Biden administration, uh, uh, more focused on taxes and social uh, equity and those kinds of things. Now, anything in particular other than the, the, the taxes we just talked about you want to look at maybe when Congress gets back to work in September? Um, as far as uh, some of the things we've been working on, uh, uh, immigration, uh, ag labor is still a, a very big highlight for us. Uh, infrastructure also is a big one, uh, broadband access. Uh, uh, the, the bill that just passed, the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, um, we did support that, um, although it's uh, increasing a lot of spending, uh, but it's because of some of the priorities we, we've had, the roads and bridges, locks and dams, and those kinds of things. Uh, however, we are concerned about the additional spending, uh, but uh, part of that bill that, that had the tax increases in it that we just talked about, those were taken out, and, and we were glad to see that. So. Uh the, I, that, that would have been my next question, is the infrastructure bill. I, as some say it's good for farmers, others say that it might hurt. But uh, uh, just keep an eye on things, right? Well, that's right. Uh, things are very fluid. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, we have heard from some members that weren't so happy that we uh, supported that. Uh, but like I say, it's, it's a very fluid situation, and as things change, we'll react to that too. Uh, if things go counter to our policy, we'll switch our position. Sounds good. Scott Vanderwall, the uh, South Dakota Farm Bureau President and the American Farm Bureau Vice President. Thanks for taking time out. Have a good show. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. That is uh, another edition of today's Farm Life right here in the grounds at Dakota Fest 2021. Glad to have a Dakota Fest 2021. For today's Farm Life, I'm Doug Cunningham.